got a line here it's just setting up your float so I generally like to guess a good meter or so and then pinch his first split shot on just here and you can get the tub of these of different sizes for about eight dollars they're actually brilliant they've got the little tabs on the back so you can remove them and then um, put them back in the pot so you can reuse them so they're really good so you put your first split shot on at the top where you think roughly the float will be at depth so hook on bottom float on the surface and then you just slide your float down the line to meet that shot that you've put on, like so. So it meets it there. Then obviously put another split shot on and slide that one all the way up to the top, like so. Until that's locked on like that. Sitting like that, surface of the water aiming to be about here or there. Then what I like to do after checking the depth, which again I will show you on another video, is tie the hook on the bottom. Depending on what bait you use, it will affect the depth of the float as well. If you're using a large bit of meat, it will actually weight the float down if you're not quite smack bang on bottom. But what I like to do is once you've depthed it, is to aim for your bait to be sitting on the bottom like so. You can obviously do a few different rigs, shirt button style. Um, even a uh, lift bite where you'll have a, a large sort of swan shot sitting here so when the fish lifts up it will take that weight off and the float will actually lift up but for all intents and purposes of the easiest way to fish with the best presentation that's your rig really and again I'll show you how to depth fit and how to suss out what you're fishing for and what to look for but that's your first very basic very easy and very very effective rig to use at Golden Ponds <laughs>